Justin France in here with Dr. Zach Bush, the legend. <laughs> Restore, you might know him from this and all the other amazing summits he's been speaking on. So excited to have you here. Oh, it's fantastic to be with you. It's exciting. Yeah, well, we are covering our Beyond Recovery Summit. So you got to learn how to recover beyond. And there's no better product to do it with. And there's no better person to talk to than Dr. Zach Bush. I mean, he has hydration, detox, I mean, there's, the list goes on and on about what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna turn over to you, because listening to him speak is just riveting. So, what's the first pillar that comes to mind when you talk about recovery? Fantastic. You know, so often when we're talking about athleticism and everything else, everybody's focused on the muscle, everybody's focused on the musculoskeletal system, and maybe they're focused on the neurologic system. Very few people are out there saying gut health is the beginning of exercise, and it's really it's a phenomenal new world of understanding that all human physiology, but especially performance, comes down to a critical relationship to your gut. And interestingly, if you look out there in the literature and you're looking across, you know, I don't care if it's gastroenterology of America or wherever you're looking in the literature, it's very difficult to find something that says here's what gut health is. A poorly defined phenomenon. Our lab over the last eight years has really been working. We have a basic science lab that works within our clinic system. And at the basic science level and then at the, in its application to the human at the clinical level, we've been really working on this relationship of what does it mean to have that healthy gut and how do you define that? And there's three major ways in which you can define this. Number one is what does the microbiome look like? The more diverse and massive the microbiome and the ecosystem is, the healthier the whole organism behind it's gonna be. Number two is, the membrane that, that organism, those organisms maintain. So we think of the gut membrane as, the, as kind of ground zero because it's the largest in your body. It covers two tennis courts in surface area. So this is a massive membrane and it's micro thin. It's half the thickness of a human hair. So you've got this cellophane level, level that covers these two tennis courts and it's under attack all the time by your environment. And the main threat to it is certainly the herbicides and pesticides. So the number one there is obviously glyphosate or Roundup. And so all of our Roundup ready crops have really dumped an enormous amount of this pesticide and herbicide into our uh, place, and our earth here. And the one major piece that we kind of overlook as consumers because we weren't told it is it actually functions primarily as an antibiotic rather than a weed killer. And the way it kills bacteria, fungi, everything else is denuding our microbiome very quickly, which leaves us vulnerable to this huge cellophane membrane that is our gut lining. And the glyphosate happens to directly attack the Velcro that ties together the trillions of cells that make that a coherent membrane. And so on two levels, Roundup is you know, public health number one, destroys the microbiome, and then number two, makes us leak all over. Yeah. And your cell identity, your self-identity at the cell level is critical to your performance as an athlete. Because the main thing you need to know is who am I at the cell level? What am I supposed to keep out of my body and what do I need to bring in? You need to bring in tons of your nutrients, everything from the amino acids to the trace micronutrients, manganese, selenium, all these critical things for muscle metabolism, and you gotta bring water with it. All of those are gonna be highly reliant on the membrane which is maintained by the microbiome. And so if you happen to be one of those athletes that's pounding protein, doing all your CoQ10, you're out there doing PQQ, and you're kind of pushing the mitochondrial envelope, chances are you're bloated, you have diarrhea, you got constipation, you got irritable bowel symptoms, you're not dealing with your diet well, you kind of have this kind of panic relationship with your toilet, you know, it's like this situation where you're just not, the inside's not working, it's because you're trying to hammer all this nutrient into your body, and yet the membrane's not there. The membrane is not an intelligent barrier system, so you're getting an overwhelm to the third piece of the gut intelligence or healthy gut, which is the immune system. Some 60 to 80% of your immune system lies right behind that gut membrane and is quickly overwhelmed in this leaky, permeable state of the, the American gut. Uh -huh. In that setting, everything becomes a to potential toxin. Think of kale, for example. It's one of my favorite superfoods. Pound the heck out of kale for my patients. But if you've got a leaky membrane, that insoluble fiber that's in kale can become a natus for a huge immune reaction. And so you can see thyroid dysfunction worsening, inflammatory markers getting worse, all this stuff that should be thriving on something like kale getting worse. And so this gut intelligence thing is so slam on the kind of ground zero of human health that it's a little overwhelming that we had never even thought about it for the first 40 years of exercise physiology.
Unbelievable. And it's so true. And yeah, so some of the markers that I use for gut health and it is I've looked at the back of my tongue and, and I've seen bumps my whole life on the back. And now I finally have it to where there's not any. And 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 is is that a big marker you look at? Yeah, so that's a huge one. I mean just a lot of people have the white coating on their tongue as well. Um, I think the main thing is regularity of the bowels. And so exactly. if you're not up in the morning and having bowel movement in the first hour or so, then you're probably not clicking there. Yeah. And if you're not having two bowel movements a day, at least kind yeah. of soft form stools, your mm. bowel's not clicking. You want volume, you need a lot of volume to your stools because that's gonna reflect the volume of your microbiome and the ecosystem they're in. And that's the other thing, it's like nobody talks about that. Yeah. It's like it's it's you take it in and your body's supposed to absorb it and then excrete it. And it has to be significant. And so that's what we've we've had we had Dr. Tom Bain and on with his Go Mega Spore and, and, and that we were, you know, it's like that's a big thing. It's like you have to get your body flushing and if it's not, then it's not working properly. Yeah. Now on another thing you mentioned. Now, my daughter's nine, and uh, oftentimes there's junk food in the house. I never buy it. My wife will grab stuff just to make her, you know, have fun and feel yeah. normal because it's, you know, it's, so you have Ritz, Doritos, and, and Goldfish, and I'm like, ah, oh, I just, you know, those all have a hundred or a thousand times more glyphosate in them than they used to just because they're yeah. dipping the seeds in it. And so she had a little gut that was leaking and, and uh, it, Dr. Cohen actually recommended that she get on Restore. So that's how I found out about okay. your product early on. And so, but this is so true. It's like when you have a staple intake where it's Domino's, Subway, and then those snacks, you're gonna see a leaky gut. And, and, and although this, she's super young and healthy and we normally do our best to eat well, like. She's just been a kid and, and kind of flown into the kid vibe where, you know, it's just, it's not foods that are optimal and, and it showed it. But this has been something that's been so helpful for me to help support her. On You're that. absolutely right. There's a great journal article that just came out in the huge medical journal, JAMA, uh, Journal of American Medicine. And in JAMA they showed, it was a cool study because they accidentally came upon all these urine samples that had been frozen for 20 years in a different trial that had nothing to do with diet or anything else. And so these people have been eating the same nutrition for 20 years and they mapped the, the glyphosate levels in their urine. 1,000 fold increase over that, over a 15 year period from 2000 to 2015. So just a crazy amount of this chemical in our environment now. And so what is this? So what the heck would have helped your daughter out or anybody else? What, and the amazing thing is, is that it's really, doesn't do anything directly to you. It's an empowering compound that is empowering your gut lining to go back to its normal mechanism of repair. What's in this solution of Restore is uh, the metabolites from bacteria and fungi when they digest anything in the environment. You can think of a compost pile here. Throw anything in your compost pile, it's gonna turn into you know, that rich black soil full of nutrients and density. What we found in 2012, and this was a coincidence to my research, I was a cancer researcher developing chemotherapy historically, so I'm just slowly buying my way out of purgatory here, but uh, that, that reality of that uh, chemical came to be by uh, researching the soil and, and how it relates to the plants. And in that uh, search, we found this whole family of molecules made from these metabolites from the bacteria and fungi. And that journey really took us very quickly into a whole new paradigm of human health because we've always studied exercise, physiology, cancer, cardiovascular, doesn't matter what, in a sterile petri dish. So we've never seen the communication network of bacteria and fungi coming into an environment of cell culture. And the interesting thing about Restore is it's totally sterile. There's no bacteria, no fungi, anything else. All this is is the wireless communication network that's made by the bacteria and fungi. And so when you put that wireless communication back into play, it doesn't matter if it's the nasal spray or the gut lining, suddenly your microbiome is getting a huge amount of compost. You're getting all these important metabolites, these carbon molecules laced with critical amino acids and, and micro minerals. But more importantly, you're getting the oxygen hydrogen binding capacity, which we call a redox signaling. And that's what turns on protein synthesis in the body. So you can have all the amino acids in the world, but if you're not doing cell-cell communication, you're not gonna build tight junctions to get a cohesive gut membrane together. You're not gonna build a cohesive vascular system. You're not gonna get a cohesive blood-brain barrier. 
This is another phenomenon with you guys who are doing a lot of protein, is you'll find that when your bowels are screwed up and you're like frustrated about it, your cognition is like out to lunch. Your short-term memory sucks, your sex drive can drop, sleep quality sucks. All of that is because you got leaky, leaky brain as well as leaky gut. And so the Restore is this amazing phenomenon where you put back together the microbiome and its communication network around that human cell and you energize the DNA of the human cell to start jumping into this protein synthesis. And it's so much faster than when we study the human cells in isolation. We can see protein synthesis turning on in a matter of minutes. Generally that takes days in a, in a petri dish. You're looking at 12 hours, 14 hours to see genomic changes. We can see that in minutes when you throw Restore into the mix. And so you get this very rapid empowerment to the DNA protein synthesis mechanism. And you get this intelligent system where now one cell is talking to the next and they understand their role in the greater cohesive environment of a 70 trillion celled human organism. So those are some of the exciting breakthroughs that have been in play. And it really has come down to stories like your daughter's, which is, you know, the environment's toxic, we're doing our best, it's not perfect, but even when perfect these days, you're getting contaminated. Right. So we got 75% of our air, 75% of our air, our rainfall contaminated with Roundup now. Wow. And so it's like, you wow. really can't get away from this stuff. And wow. so if you're breathing, and this is why so many people have congestion, mm -hmm. post nasal drainage all night long, nasal polyps, can't breathe, you're, it's limiting your exercise performance. If you don't know this yet, it, you need to look into nasal breathing. It's the whole secret to human health. Like, if you're exercising with your mouth open, you're missing a huge piece of the puzzle. All of your like megastar long distance runners, they're all nasal breathers. Americans are trained to be mouth breathers and we're really underperforming for that reason. So the nasal pl play is huge. You get the nasal sinuses healthy, you start exchanging oxygen across that membrane, the first thing that's produced is nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, a huge secret to get into exercise physiology, get huge release of nitric oxide from the nasal mucosa. It induces immediate expansion of the brain circulation, so you're more on as far as being in flow as an athlete. You know, you've got that whole vagal nerve starts to decrease its stress as the gut goes coherent. That's the back of the throat from that post nasal drainage is already vagus nerve, and then you've got the whole gut beyond that. So you put the nasal and the gut together, you take the huge stressor off the vagal nerve. Once vagus relaxes, then your respiratory uh, phase drops, you'll start breathing from the bottom of your lungs, not the top of your lungs. Mm -hmm. As the vagal nerve tone decreases, your heart rate will correct, you'll drop by 5, 10 uh, beats per minute. Your respiratory rate at rest will drop into the 4 to 6 range instead of up at the 10 to 12 where most Americans are breathing. So we're all in this sympathetic overdrive yeah. because the vagus nerve is in a total stress state. Definitely. It's so true. I mean, we had a, our sleep summit was last, and that was one of the things I emphasized is get a nasal, nasal spray and get in there, open that up. Because I noticed when I do that before bed, I sleep better because oh, you're just getting more oxygen there. So my deeper sleep will be, I'll just get more oxygen and I, and, and I feel so much better. It's the real deal. Yeah, and then there's water. So the hydration piece, you mentioned detox at the beginning. There's so many products on the market for detoxification these days, and the irony of that is you can't do any detox no matter what formula you have on board if you don't have water. <clears throat> water inside the cell is the ultimate solvent. Uh, water is the only compound on earth that can take you know a, a 2,000 ton military steel ship and dissolve it into nothing in the bottom of the ocean over a few years. Yeah. You know, and so it is the ultimate solvent. It can clean out all the junk that we can think of, hydrocarbons, pesticides, herbicides, all the weird pharmaceutical stuff that comes in drinking water these days. We're all drinking statin drugs. We're all drinking birth control pills. We're all drinking the stuff that's in the water. And so with that intake, you got to get water inside the cell. So how does that happen? It turns out that again, this comes back to membrane intelligence. You, to pull water inside the cell is actually a passive process. There's not water pumps. There's hydrogen pumps, there's potassium pumps. There's all these channels that actively pump things here and there, not with the aquaporin channel. It's totally passive. And so to get water inside the cell, you actually have to build an electrical charge across the cell membrane. And to do that, you need the in intelligence of those tight junctions and the gap junctions that run between from cell to cell. And so that's where Restore comes in huge. And this is usually the main kind of side effects, if you will, of starting Restore is you're about to start hydrating your body. And so when, when you've been walking around for decades dry, 
as soon as that gut goes coherent, you're going to suck all the water out of your colon. And so you're going to tend to leave those stools dry for a week or two while you're rehydrating. If you do get dry stools in the first couple of days or weeks you're on restore, you just increase your water intake. You can decrease the amount of restore you're taking too if you want. But in, the reality is you just created a coherent membrane, so celebrate that and just pour on the water. Add magnesium too. We're a big fan of getting the cathartic movement of the magnesium. We're all magnesium deficient. And so those are two huge pieces. Get that, that colon rehydrating the system. Then you need the electrical charge across the single cell membrane. And that's where the nitric oxide and exercise physiology comes into play with Restore. And so when we do a four minute workout, uh, you can, there's a video on ZachBushMD.com on this four minute work, workout that we do. It's a nitric oxide burst from the 16 largest muscle groups. You do that three or four times a day. Mm -hmm. Total game changer in regard to the mitochondrial metabolism that's happening behind the restore. And so those two big pieces, you know, getting the hydration piece going through the water, the restore, and that short burst exercise. You don't, don't even want to really break a sweat with a four minute workout. It's so short and brief, you're really trying not to burn calories, you're instead just trying to build electrical charge. When you, when you go into a calorie burn state where you're really sweating, you're working your heart rate and everything else, you've got a lot of repair going on. And so the four minute workout is kind of brilliant because you get into the situation where you're inducing all of the good stuff that you expect from exercise without doing a damage event. Uh, and so the right. four minute workout is really to add in, now you should go do your cardio and your, your orange theory, whatever kind of intensity you're doing, Keep in mind, you're doing a, a ton of damage during that time, which is good. It'll make you stronger, not weaker, but there's a huge energy output there. So the four-minute workout is a great adjunct to get nitric oxide and delivery system of repair and hydration into the mix before you go and work out. Definitely. And we did that at Bulletproof Conference. You, we did. You had that up there and yeah. introduced it to, the, to the everybody. It's cool to see 2,000 people doing this. <laughs> it's very good. So which product is that then? Is that, is that so all the above. So this is just the travel one for two days. Same so this okay. is the same product, just a different size bottle. Um, so it's basically for convenience. Ideally, you're taking this before each meal. So you do want to kind of carry it with you and everything else. And so I tend to keep it either the eight ounce bottle or the three ounce bottle in my car, and then uh, we'll refill uh, by the big bottles. Nasal spray, easy applications a few times a day, but really as often as you need it. There, you can't overdose on any of it. It's one of the safest compounds ever to, uh, checked in cell culture. So the science one we tend to say, as soon as you get a little drip or you're not, it's instantaneous. Like as soon as people start restoring on the nasal, like you'll be on it forever because it works so damn fast. And so when you get that, rapid recovery system, the microbiome starts to improve, you find yourself really resilient to your environment. We shouldn't all be allergic to the pollen and dust that we breathe. Right. We've been around that for thousands of years. We evolved with that. Right. The fact that it's triggering all these immune reactions is just because the membrane is leaky, we have an immune system overwhelm, we've shifted from an acute inflammatory reaction for maintenance to this chronic inflammatory state, which builds an acidic barrier, which screws up you know, water, hydration, and everything else. And that's kind of the, the nutshell. Try to pack it all in 20 minutes for you. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, you did it. It's unbelievable. No, I mean, I'm excited about that. I didn't, I didn't really realize you guys had a, a, a nasal you know, product as well. So that's really exciting for me to, to jump into. So you covering the gut, the hydration, the detoxifying, those are the three pillars that Dr. Bush has to recommend. Anything else you wanna toss into that mix? Well, a huge interesting little piece that we, we can try to put in another little nutshell here is actually your human consciousness. And this is like one of my favorite topics to, to speak on. But the reality is what we just told you is that the environment that you're in, the glyphosate, the Roundup, all this stuff is destroying your self-identity at the cell level. You can't tell what's outside and what's inside. Your immune system's always activated. And so we have this huge epidemic of autoimmune disease, chronic inflammatory diseases. We've lost track of who we are. When you start Restore, when you get the microbiome back into your system, it's an incredible experience to just have a sense of, this is where my barriers are and boundaries are at the cell level. It immediately translates into your kind of bigger psyche, your own, your own consciousness of, this is my self-identity, this is my purpose here. And if you're here on the planet right now, it's with great design and purpose because we are at an incredible tipping point of human history. We're either gonna go extinct as a species over the next 50 years or we're gonna change everything. And you guys are part of changing everything, and so I applaud you and, and your journey. I applaud all of the efforts that are happening around the world, and this, this little episode right here is a great example of it. Information is getting to people through fantastic channels that were never available before. So I think 
we are seeing the rise in human consciousness and bizarrely the microbiome has something to do with that. Oh, that's awesome. I love hearing it. You know, it's just it's such a important part of it. And the cool thing too that I want to add about Restore is that I can pour it in water and my daughter doesn't even know I poured yes. it in her water. <laughs> yeah, it's stealth supplementation. It <laughs> is. It's like and you put a, a teaspoon in every every time I give her a glass of water and or a tablespoon yeah. water, and it's it's like she doesn't even know it's in there unless she sees me go to the cabinet and then she's yeah. caught on to that. But but at least I can put something in her and now she's just getting used to it. It's like, hey, I'm bringing this stuff back in to help rebuild the damage that she's doing. And you'll, I see it energetically wise, like she'll play soccer. The days that you know I can see that leaky gut and her energy level low, I can see it so yeah. tangible. Yeah. And, then, and then when she, she has healthier, when she ate a little better, we got that going a little more frequently, it's her energy is just up and it jumps it. Yeah, for the kids, if you're trying to find more specific usage you know, guidelines for the kids, we have a kid branding product called Magic Dirt Water. It's on the Restore website. So the Magic Dirt Water is fun, but it also takes you through kind of weight based uh, guidance for the for the tiny little kids. Nine year olds going to be on the adult dosing. Don't worry about it. But if you got kids under the age of five, and then there's under two, and then there's newborns. And all that so uh, lots of stuff there's a four page usage guideline that I highly recommend on, on the website too it'll take you through people who are really sensitive to supplements if you're starting or storing you're having constipation or other side effects you know, it takes you through what that is the fact that it's not actually side effects it's actually the effect of healing and how to how to cope with those so restore the number four life.com can get you there awesome and it's dirty water they call it it's, it's kind of like I mean, we, we're both surfers and so we love going out but going to Tavarua, they give you kava kava as a yeah. little ritual it's really similar to that it doesn't taste anything like it but as far as color wise yeah wise, it's like dirt water <laughs> yeah but you don't even notice it when you pour it in a glass so it's awesome so Dr. Bush, thank you so much for joining uh, us. Absolute uh, pleasure. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Bush, guys, too.